With the help of an astronaut, officials launched a new aeronautics educational program in central Brooklyn. This state-of-the-art laboratory is at Medgar Evers College, but it's designed to attract pre-college students to careers in math and science. Today, there's a, a shortage of engineers, and if African-Americans, Hispanic-Americans, and women were to assume their roles in engineering and science in proportion to their part of the population, there wouldn't be an engineering shortage. The facility offers 10 workstations that challenge kids to do everything from researching NASA's missions to developing a space shuttle mission of their own. In addition to charting the course from one location to the other, you, the students are also able to design aircraft. They can measure everything right down to the wind velocity. Astronaut Michael Anderson describes the real thing. Like is the moment the main engines cut off. I went from all those forces on my body to the zero gravity of space. Everything around me began to float. And I tell them what it felt like at that moment, because at that moment, I was in space. And the best feeling of all was the feeling of knowing that my lifelong dream had become a reality. There are only 12 aeronautic educational labs in the nation. York College has the only other one in the area, and the two schools are working together to attract young students. We hope that this uh, lab will cause a lot of children to be able to, to dream and, and understand the possibilities. And the fact that we have an astronaut here with us today uh, is, is, is fantastic. And young people want to rub shoulders with him, and not only so many young people, but my colleagues and, and others as, as well. The lab is named for area congressman Major Owens, who's on the House Education Committee. The aeronautics program will blast off this summer with a month-long course for 7th and 11th graders. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Janine Aguirre, New York 1.